my greatest movie hero or oh, actually she's kind of a villain but i'm kind of not sure what you would class her as but it's going to be harley quinn birds of prey one of my favorite films me and anton did it recently and i think she is amazing i definitely think i'm like harley quinn in fact i even have a baseball bat not that i've used it greatest villain okay for me a cliche but it has to be nurse ratchet from one flew over the cuckoo's nest that is one bad bitch now most baddies like the joker the penguin you end up feeling sorry for them something's happened to them you know and you can't help but feel a little bit sorry it's like film producers have to give us a moral story not everyone's bad for no reason she is just bad for no reason and that's why she's my favorite normally on a film you know the leading character is something either saying comes out good or you know there's going to be a sequel and all is going to be avenged and happy not in this film no no the worst thing that happened to nurse ratchet was obviously getting her, her breasts exposed but come on you know i've had worse on friday night down casino rooms greatest hero or villain i've got to say for villain i'm gonna go with the joker because he's such a complex character and also he sits between the fine line of good and bad because he puts people in these predicaments where they'll have to do something, but it almost conflicts with morality. Like, he's, a, he's an interesting character. I think possibly Hans Gruber, Alan Rickman from Die Hard. Um, classic Englishman playing a villain. It, they always play him so good with the fake accents. And when he actually, um, famous line, shoot the glass. It's like, it's a classic. Love Alan Rickman. So my greatest movie hero of all time is Elliot. Um, anyone who doesn't know who Elliot is, it's Elliot from E.T. He is just the best hero ever. So not only does he find this little alien, and even that in itself, he doesn't care that this the thing's strange. He doesn't care that it's a creature that he hasn't seen. He's not scared. He just has a has a bond with it and just like really takes care of it. And then when E.T. is missing his home, although Elliot could be like, no, you're my pet as a little boy and you know, I want to keep you and all of that, he literally helped him to escape and to get back to his family. And I just think it's such a lovely story. I cry every single time I watch E.T. And I just think that Elliot is an example to us all. So yes, he's my favorite movie hero of all time. And it's easy, it's Batman. Uh, no two ways about it. Uh, I like him the best because he is just a man who is brilliant as opposed to an alien with special powers or a enhanced being or anything like that. He's just a man, but he's great. Um, so the greatest hero in my eyes is our princess, our general, Leia. Um, without her, the rebellion would have been nothing but two droids. She kicks ass, she saved Luke's ass on more than one occasion, and how could we forget the immortal um, bikini scene with the hair? I mean, Carrie Fisher was amazing. There could only be one person who could have been Leia. Um, yeah, and she's just everything you need someone to be. She's just kick ass. Now, for those of you that know me, it's, it's second nature. I wouldn't even need to say it. It is Superman, the Man of Steel, I mean, look, I'm wearing his robe right now. However, I'm not going to go for um, Superman. I'm going to go somewhere, somebody else. The movie Gladiator. Excellent movie. Um, Russell Crowe, um, not one of my all-time favourite um, actors. However, the way in which he um, played that character was amazing. Um, and the reason why I um, chose him is didn't back down, didn't give up. His family um, was unfortunately slaughtered, murdered. Um, however, it was the revenge, the revenge that was in his mind um, that pushed him forward and um, made him basically win the day. Um, she's not quite your traditional villain that you would think of, but she is pretty much a bad person, but I think she's brilliant. So I'm going to have to say Roxy Hart from the 2002 movie Chicago, played by Renée Zellweger. 
but I just love the way it's all very clumsy. She manipulates the system and her poor husband. Um, she claims to be pregnant, she plays the press and just kind of gets into all the kind of jazz and, you know, circus act around that. Um, the character is just incredibly witty, scatty and selfish. Um, and when she is freed from jail, after riding on everyone she needs to to get where she needs to get, she manages to achieve her dream of being a star with former prison mate, Belle Kelly, played by Catherine Dita Jones. Um, I also love the fact that it's got a good kind of female cast um, and the way that the music tells the story as well. Right, I'll probably go villain, uh, Thanos. Something on a scale like that just because a lot of times in a comic book films you get a lot of um, a lot of silly take over the world or chaotic um, motives for the big bad but in this one you actually had someone who had a point ne didn't necessarily agree with his methods um, but overpopulation is a big discussion even in the world today and whether or not you agree or disagree with it is something which actually does have a point. There's a finite number of resources, etc. And the way in which um, Thanos, obviously, the killing spree and how we got there wasn't great. But the end goal to justify the means is kind of a bit of compassion there. So while I don't agree with it, um, yeah, it was good to have some depth to a villain. Um, and yeah, menacing, powerful, uh, took all of the Avengers to be in. So yeah, Thanos. It's easy here to think of superheroes and action stars, but I'm going to go slightly in a different direction and say uh, George Bailey from It's a Wonderful Life. I think it's really important to, uh, to highlight a figure whose entire story is just about being a great person. It's really inspirational seeing the struggles that he goes through and overcomes and the end of the film where he realizes the impact he's had on all the people of the town it makes me cry every time and it makes me want to be a better person myself he's a great man 